Aquarius. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your reading for the second half of February. I do apologize. I wasn't able to get to the first half due to just my crazy schedule. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get into it for the second half of the month, guys. I'll be focusing on four of my decks here. And the first half, I wanted to have it be an interactive reading portion for you guys to be able to ask your own question. So I'll be starting off with my yes, no oracle. And the, literally the only thing in here are yes, no cards, nothing else. So go ahead and focus on a particular question that you might want insight and clarity on. And if it's not the answer that you were hoping for, either timing could be off or it is maybe a sign that there's something or someone way better for you, okay? So go ahead and focus on your question, whatever it is. It could be about anything. For Aquarius, please. All right, here we go, guys. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind. We have a no. Okay, so again, if that's not the answer you were hoping for, we'll see what the rest of the reading conveys. You know, nothing's ever written in stone here. So let's grab some time frames, okay? You can either decide for yourself which card you're most drawn to. I will be pulling three cards, three different time frames. You can, of course, be focused on different things that you're really wanting time frames on whether it's love, career, friendships, totally up to you. So let's go ahead and see what the three time frames are. For Aquarius, we do have eight months, okay? Let's see. What is that, October, February, March, April? I can't think. <laughs> March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, October. So we're looking at maybe Libra or Scorpio season, perhaps. Okay, that could be a particular time frame for some of you. When you least expect it, something could be happening, okay? So this no could represent something that you were hoping for. It's not happening right now, but life might just throw you a curveball here. It might just surprise you. All right, let's go ahead and grab one more time frame for the collective for Aquarius. And we have the month of April. Okay, that could be a significant time for some of you guys. You could also be dealing with Aries or Taurus. All right, so that's what's coming through. Let's go ahead and see what the rest of the reading brings forward. So I wanted to first start with verbiage from this deck, the Valentine Connection Oracle, focusing on whoever it is you're thinking about for this reading, what it is that needs to come through from them, what it is that they would want to say to you if they could. I am focused on those of you who are in separation, going through some challenges. Maybe it's been a while since you have been in contact. It was love at first everything for me. You'll always come first forever. Oh, wow. So it could have been love at first sight. Could have been, you know, maybe you were their first love. Let's grab two more. You are the best dream I've ever dreamt. You really are my dream come true. So I'm kind of getting for some of you guys, maybe the very first time you saw each other, it, it was like an indication to them, like, wow, my dream has actually manifested itself in real life. Let's grab one more here. Yes, I want you now and forever. Okay, so whatever issues you guys might be going through right now, this is certainly an indication that they're still very much focused on you. You still mean the world to this person. They will always be drawn to you. They still want you, as we can see, now and forever. So let's clarify that with some tarot. Let's see what else we can find out here. 
angels and spirit guides please for Aquarius what do we need to know here for Aquarius so for now you know there might not be a whole lot happening so going back to our time frames you know there's a reason why this is presenting itself in this way when you least expect it something could happen all right so it might not be moving for now but that doesn't mean it's going to be in that energy forever we do have the four of swords i feel that's quite telling and that the stalemate is there for a reason because there is some healing that needs to happen still there's this need to just regroup to recuperate from whatever might have been challenging the partnership look at this we've got the three of swords wow so this makes sense either there was a love triangle third party situation if it wasn't that it could have been a very painful parting of the ways something happened here to either break your heart or you ended up hurting them or it was a mutual thing Look at this. In time, though, this is a part of the journey with that judgment card where somebody finally wakes up, you know, and goes through their awakening, as we can see, to be able to see things from the past and be able to tap into those experiences and behaviors that might have created some drama here. So I feel there's someone from your past, especially Aquarius, who wants to reconnect who maybe wants to apologize for breaking your heart or hurting you. Let's see. Look at this. We've got the Two of Cups. So I'm feeling here that they really do care for you. They really do feel drawn to you and they love you. We we saw that, you know, from, from the words here. Yes, I want you now and forever. It was love at first everything for me. They continue to feel this way about you. They continue to want to be your life partner, even though there have clearly been some challenges here. Let's see what else. They see you as their soulmate, their ideal mate. Look at this, and now you've got the sun. So you guys still have a chance here. You have a chance at happiness. And perhaps once this experience takes a turn for the better, I feel, through a reconnection or they, they show back up in your life, they reach out, you guys have a second chance, I'm feeling, at happiness to be able to turn things around here. Some of you could also be dealing with Gemini. We do see the lovers. We could also have Leo coming to the forefront here. It could be this person who wants to make a conscious choice to reach out because they're happiest when they're with you. Temperance, tranquility, peace. Could happen around Sagittarius season as well. There's this need to just take things ever so slowly. Well, not necessarily slow, but just ultimately turning it over to a higher power. Just trusting that truly what is meant to come for you will come for you. You know, and as it says, when you least expect it, that's when something significant could happen between you and this person. Because you really do represent that peace, that calm in their life. And so regardless of what might have occurred to break you guys up, the fact that it hurt you, it hurt you both, I feel they are still very drawn to you, very attracted to you still, and they still love you. That's the most important thing that I'm picking up here. The love, it's still here. That never went away. They want to make a choice to be able to bring this back together. Look at that, and now you've got the Ten of Cups divine love this is a very happy energy of course and what it is that they are striving to be able to manifest in the 3d for now it's just a fantasy for now it's just a dream but that is what it is that they would love to bring to the surface to be able to bring this into 3d okay so if you guys are on the same page then this is totally doable all right, I'll leave that there, Aquarius. Hopefully there's something in this reading that makes sense. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one.